Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bulldogs and Yellow Jackets. Never the twain shall meet. Or at least when they do, they're probably going to fight. Each side has utter disdain for every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Time for some clean, old-fashioned hate. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started and he'll return this one from the seventh tackle made at the 28 yard line well from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Cody's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on their own 35. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. He airs it out. Of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He just rung up his 25th touchdown pass. He's the spark that makes this attack go. He does everything you'd ask for in a quarterback and then some. Tacks on the extra point. A four play, 72 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Justice looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32 yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's to the 40. Tackle at about the 45. He's going to get some congratulations for that nice display of running. Normally his job is to block. First and 10. 
Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. A monster run there by the fullback. You got to wrap the big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 39. scrambling now he's gonna run and watch out they'll bring him down around the 31 yard line from the 31 yard line it's first down he's got an opening nice gain as he works the right side Here's the eighth play of the series. Fakes to the back. Caught with room to work. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Tech. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Schmidt is lined up to kick this one off. Cody fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. It was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tackle made at midfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 46. That makes it second and six. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 31. Brought down right around the 20. Davis on the tackle at the 20 yard line. First down. After a decent run up the gut. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7 7. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. the stop right around the four-yard line the offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with and he took advantage of it first down defense trying to prevent any more damage first and goal inside the five fires incomplete knocked away it looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there but i don't think he saw the linebackers this is the eighth play of this drive tosses left touchdown georgia Makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. One of college football's most storied rivalries, Michigan and Ohio State in the game. And for Ohio State, they look to win their 11th game of the year. The Buckeyes have the lead, 14-7. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Anderson deep to return. Anderson from the eight. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. After a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at midfield. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. and he's got room and he's tackled at the 29 yard line first and 10 ball of the 29 So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Second and five, nine yards to the goal line. He's 
taken down at about the 13. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. It's up and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Georgia is up by four. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Allen picks up about five yards on that hookup. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. First down. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 44. Slings it. Tackle around the 26-yard line. The design of this play is perfect. Working to the strengths of their personnel, and the defense looks totally shell-shocked by it. Bounces out of bounds. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Georgia is up four. Big hit there to stop it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the nine-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. And this play is number eight on the drive. strike complete and he's taken down around the five yard line brown gains four yards on that reception they're going to go for the easy three here
He gets it up, and it's good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners and the Cowboys clash in the Bedlam game. And for Oklahoma State, they can win their ninth game of the year today. Oklahoma State leads it 3-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Justice gets set to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. The Yellow Jackets taking their first time out of the half. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 35. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at about the 35. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 47. Pass over the middle to the fullback. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and six. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. We played a half. The Bulldogs lead 17-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good well, like a game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He laterals the ball. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He fights forward to about the 33. It and the quarterback scrambles. Very good tackle in space. That makes it 
First and ten. Ball on their own 41. Gets out to around the 45. fumble the football and that guy feels horrible about it he's got to forget about it go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field so they're just about set to get the game going again Georgia up seven points Cody it's the carry nice run and he's brought down that makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 48. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 32 yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That brings us second and nine. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, and they push him out at the 22-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 22-yard line, first down. Over the middle, got his tight end. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Henry on the tackle at the 10-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first and goal. goal. Tight end right. Tight end right. Go down, go down. Hey, watch that, watch that. He dives and he'll be marked down. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Georgia is up a score. Georgia. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. Justice has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Anderson fields it at the one. At the 30, brought down at the 31-yard line. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Oh, you got deep? Hey, check right, check right. He 
fights forward to about the 46. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. Tackled for a loss. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Georgia's lead is two touchdowns. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. it to the 31. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 31-yard line, first down. <laughs> up the middle for a nice game. This is the eighth play of this drive. He laterals the ball, and they got him for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. It's a nice save by the defense, bringing him down just before he could reach the marker. They put everyone up on the line. And they get nice yardage on that run. scrambling and they got him a nice play there and that's his fifth sack of the season he really fought to get to the quarterback that time he's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis it's second and 11 ball on the 17 yard line And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Play 13 of the current drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick pass. Inside the 10. Tackle at about the nine-yard line. Let's see what they do this time. They've already converted on fourth down twice on this drive. <laughs> Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? 
one of college football's most storied rivalries, Michigan and Ohio State, in the game. Let's take yet another peek at this game. In this rivalry, winning is only part of the fun. The other part is making the other guy miserable. And for Hairston, he is locked in, now with five touchdown passes. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. The Buckeyes lead it by six. In other action, Kansas will try to rock and chalk out behind the Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. And for Kansas State, blowing their way into the end zone on the ground. And for Boyd, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead, 20 to 16, closing in on the end of regulation. The one touchdown ball game race, 24 to 17 here. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Georgia's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just over two minutes in the game. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. Nice run up the middle. Cody gains about four yards on the play. Georgia Tech will take their final timeout. Second down and six. Ball on the 44. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. They'll bring him down at the 46. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Georgia is up by a touchdown. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 24-17, Georgia. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Georgia came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.